of them, I don't, they're probably from the same group that were running across quarantine, they look like they're on an absolute mission this morning. Now, just from looking at them, I'm trying to, re I can't tell you who they are, unfortunately. I don't know the hyenas that well. It's even just a challenge trying to tell male from female. But to me, they've got very, very nice coats. They're a lot brighter in color. I wonder if these aren't the boys. We're going to try and follow them and see where they lead us to. They're going, they're back on Twin Dams Road now. Hello guys. Look at them. They are such scary looking animals. I always imagine that there are going to be some crazy horror movies with hyenas featuring in them. Obviously they just misunderstood. Well, this one on... Just trying to see who's who. Now Cricket, you're wondering if hyenas are mean. No, 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 not at all. None of the animals out here are mean. Just every now and then a buffalo bull. And does not approve of you. And then again, so do the, what else is a bit miserable sometimes, the elephant bull and must. But hyenas, no, don't you hear them? They laugh all the time. <laughs> and of course that laughing is, that they, that sound that they make, that isn't um, describing, of course, that they're happy. Uh, various forms of communication. Is that ribbon? I don't know. I'm not even going to try and guess and tell you who these hyenas are. You can tell me which hyena is which here. Yeah? Hashtag Safari Live. But they're both beautiful. Let's catch up with them. There's also a virtual cuckoo that's calling. You hear its call every now and then. But um, Cricket will carry on with that conversation. They're very, they're lovely animals. They're often misunderstood because of the way that they look. And uh, they often get a... Uh, ah. Uh, I, uh, I can't I can't hear I can just hear that one of these hyenas is apparently Gwen I don't know what the other one uh. and then the other one is Tsaka okay Crystal not Chris sorry Crystal okay wonderful well, that's very nice then we'll see if we can keep up with them for a little bit their coats are looking lovely though Gwen must be the one with the little little bit of a tattered ear maybe I, I, and honestly we haven't I haven't seen Gwen for such a long time I've only seen her once in fact but they're heading away now they're heading on Mumba Road and now they've picked up the pace again they smelly too they don't particularly smell very nice not quite like a wild dog they don't have that sweet aroma there's definitely a stench about a hyena but you can imagine when you are feeding on carcasses most of the time you don't necessarily smell so great. Now what we will do is we're going to have to keep moving, of course, and to just try and keep up with them. So we'll try and keep it as steady as we can. And then Seb will follow them like that, which is pretty cool. Look at them. Now this is, of course, just a, a little stroll in the park. They're, they're, it's the equivalent of jogging right now. <laughs> this is so great. I wonder where the rest of the clan has split up to now because I'm sure they would have been with the, the rest of the group that were running about on quarantine. I think they're going to take us somewhere else. She looks like, does she have blood on her face? No, this one, I don't know. She's, I mean, she got her mouth open. Now they're going to disappear off the road, unfortunately, and we won't be able to follow them, but there they go. But look at that coloration as well. You think leopards and lions blend into the vegetation? Look at the camouflage of a spotted hyena. It works very, very well. They're looking very clean. <laughs> Normally hyenas are not necessarily as, as sort of pretty as a leopard or a lion or have such nice, clean, smooth coats. Normally quite tattered, obviously. They've been looking after themselves, which is quite nice. Right, I'm going to send you across, though, to Tristan. And he is looking at his grey giants.